when the narcissist flaunts their new source. The narcissist will use their new source to get to you, but they're not really in a relationship. There's no official duties or responsibilities. There's nothing that they have to be accountable for. It's just for their image. It's just meant to make them look good. But most often their new source ain't anything special. They're not top quality. They're not on top of their game. They're not really about anything. But narcissists are delusional. So they will flaunt their new source. They will put it out there for you to see. But when you observe it, they could have just hidden it from you. Because it's not even affecting you. But they're doing it just to get a reaction out of you. Just to get your attention. To make you think that they're with someone else and they're happy. They're trying to maintain an image and reputation. They're trying to manage your perception by creating an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce their desired effect. To make you react. They depend on their image. It's all about how they want people to see them. So you won't see too many posts. You won't see too many pictures. Because they ain't all that. They just have too high an opinion of themselves. They think they're greater than they actually are. So you won't see too much. Because if they did, they would be putting themselves in position for you to laugh at them. Because what you don't realise is that they picked this person out of desperation. They had a hopeless sense that the situation was so bad and impossible to deal with, so they had to pick someone. Because they were willing to do anything to change it. They were desperate, and they felt like they had no other choice. Which is why eventually they get tired of the new source, they get bored. And they no longer want to deal with them. And that's when they have to create this story. As though there was something wrong with their new source. As though there is a reason why they had to leave them and come back to you. But it's all nonsense. It's all bullshit. They were trying to make you jealous. But it didn't work because you didn't react. Because you've got to approach with a lot of energy if you're going to flaunt a person in someone's face. If you want to make them jealous. If you want to make them feel bad. You've got to come strong. You can't come foolishly. You can't come bullshitting. If this new person is meant to make you feel a certain way. If they're meant to affect you. But they don't even know who the narcissist really is. They don't know what they're really about. It's just a distraction. It's something they're using for a short time. Because this new person really ain't about shit. It's just something they're using to hurt you. That's why they're putting it out there. But you won't care too much about it because this new person isn't on your level. So they will keep them quiet. They won't want them to start talking. Because they don't want you to hear that. 
they do not want you to hear that because that makes them look bad then they don't look good but even the things they do flaunt it's not official they don't have any duties or responsibilities there's no accountability it's just something to make you react really quick so that they can live in this moment of satisfaction of feeling like they've won of feeling like they got one over you and then they will come back with these excuses to make you feel like you've won them back you've beaten the other person when it's just all a game they put all of these pictures up for you to see but it's all fake it's unnatural their smiles are forced they pretend to be happy but it's exaggerated it's not real they're just putting on a show and you are their audience they're bragging and boasting about all of this stuff but if you could be a fly on the wall if you could see what is actually going on in that situation you would be laughing at them because it's a joke but they will use this to come back to you especially if you don't care especially if you're not worried about them they have to act like they have something without you but it's not official and with time you will see that you will see things fall apart because they're always making the wrong decisions they have poor judgment and decision making skills so it won't be long until you see it Narcissists are masters of orchestration and perception management They put an image in front of you and they make you choose after it Because you believe that it's real While they're standing off to the side looking sloppy and then washed like a homeless person While they're looking depressed and disappointed But they don't want you to see that Because if you saw that you'd be laughing at them You'd be laughing Because it's just a false persona It's a false identity which they are using to deceive you To make you feel like you've lost something To make you feel like you're missing out But you ain't missing out on nothing it's just an illusion that they are trying to create for you to keep you under their spell so that you can feel that sense of loss and then they can feel better because you feel like you've lost something and they've moved on and they're happy without you but they can only trick you in the moment it doesn't last for long because they're never happy they're always in everyone else's business they're always looking at what the next person is doing or what the next person has got they don't have the time to think about their own happiness they are never happy but they will try to make things look good they will try to act like they're happy but that's not what's really going on they're miserable and depressed because they're constantly making mistakes that they regret they're constantly bragging and boasting things that they can't bring into reality because whatever they're trying to make you think they're doing it's actually the opposite some of you may feel like you've lost something but the only thing you've lost is the problem you didn't miss out on anything they're not doing better without you they haven't changed anything about themselves the 
only thing they changed is the scheme because they're dealing with a different person so they will make adjustments to their manipulation but that is the only thing they're going to change they're not going to change and become a wonderful person so with the next person all they're going to do is adjust themselves to what that person's likes, interests and needs are so it may look a little bit different to what you were doing with them and of course it's going to look better in the beginning but check back in a few months or one year later and see if they are still with them some of them may still be together because maybe they don't know who they're dealing with maybe they don't know what a narcissist is but eventually it will fall apart just as it did with you Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on the website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.